Hello guys. Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to So Many Dice. Today we will be telling you our opinion of Rolling Heights. So created by AEG and designed by John DeClaire. It's a one to four player game and it takes about 60 minutes or so to play. Yeah. We have done a few games of this now mm -hmm. and we will probably give you our three likes and three dislikes of this game. We're being controversial. It's not all lovey dovey today. This is one of the first games that actually not made me mad, but I was a bit frustrated playing it. Mm. So, carry on listening and work out, uh, well, find out why we like it and dislike it at the same time. Mm -hmm. Reason number one why we like it. So, simple, the gameplay. The gameplay is good. The gameplay is a good idea. Um, it plays fast enough. You can get a few games in in one night. I like building out my city. Yeah. I like even end, end game scoring was good. These, these, you pick one. None of them work for me multiple times. I kind of forgot what I had to do with these, so that's my bad. Is that your dislike already? No. No, that's me being stupid and forgetting my end game scoring targets. It's um, it's a really good easy game to pick up. We didn't, to be fair, it didn't take us a very long time. So the gameplay was actually no. quite fast, and you, um, there are ways. Even the game suggests that you can almost like get ahead of each other by you know getting your meeples set up like quite quickly or ahead mm. of uh, the other players. But we didn't feel like we needed it. It felt quite relaxed. It's quite fun. You get to um, yeah, kind of go against each other a little bit. Like you know, who's gonna build better or who's gonna steal the next kind of like slot on the map. Um, it's great play. Um, I really enjoyed it. So that's yeah. you can be quite strategic in what you're trying to achieve. Yeah, like, absolutely. Thinking about where all your factories go and yeah, are you gonna try and initiate that first place where all the points allocated on the map? Or are you going to go off on one side and just work over and slowly creep over the map, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And there are ways, um, you know, there's like that first strategic placement, then you have to connect your city from that one point. So there are very, very clever ways um, that it kind of, t you know, tests you uh, whether you're going to you're gonna have like the best city at the end and obviously the most points. So gameplay is great and we enjoyed it. Uh, hence, we played it quite a few times. We did. We played it a few times in the same night. On multiple nights. Yes. <laughs> it was fun. So that was reason number one why we liked it. Reason number one we don't like it. The first thumbs down. So when we first opened the box and started um, just unpacking all of the components, one thing we didn't like was the fact that everything was just jumbled up together. So all your meeples, all the colours in one bag, all your building blocks, all of them in one bag no spare bags for us to do any organization but luckily we have spares from other games that we've played um and it was just it, it's it's like the, the box is just not organized i mean we love mm. a bit of neat and tidy organization and this just did not feel like it um yeah. it was yeah just all the components are sort of in the bag in the bag in the bag in the box and it just you don't have any way of organizing it unless you have some extra bags lying around or you have you know you come up with like a, an extra way of you know storing or, or you have like some I don't know some really fancy kind of storage things that you've got uh, yourself or some plastic boxes I don't know anything but yeah it didn't feel very I don't know nice or premium to mm, have everything yeah. just it was just a big mess there. wasn't it yeah. it took a long time separating everything even now we've boxed it back up we used our own bags from our games because every game seems to give you spares apart from this one and even now all the meeples are just a mess which is okay it is a bit nitpicky but i prefer neat tidy obviously there's going to be a second hand company that makes an organizer for this game and they're going to have the little sections that you'll pull out of the box put on the table everything's going to have its own stack already good to go and that will solve the problem i understand they had to do it for like shipping costs maybe keep the price down don't put an organizer in it Potentially just like the overall weight of the yeah. box. Um, but that is definitely a gripe. We do like organised games. Yeah. Reason number two, why we liked it. Why we like it. What's your favourite thing about this? These guys. <laughs> and, and these guys. Rolling meeples instead of rolling dice is just fun. Unless that happens and you don't get any results. <laughs> 
To be fair, it's a completely different element than any other game where we've uh, obviously you just get dice and it's just your usual rolling dice, right? Mm. Um, rolling meeples is completely different, and there's so the chance of it going wrong is quite high. Um, and you know, you just at the mercy of that element. Um, mm. I think that's one thing where we were kind of like mm, a bit when we we're playing. Like it feels like you're kind of leaving all to chance, but equally, like we just like the fact that you've got meeples and not dice all the time. So it is a game of chance, yeah. And it is a case of, are you lucky, are you unlucky? If you're having a bad day at work, don't come home and play this game. Because <laughs> if this is not on your side and you just roll, nothing can go bust all the time. Bad experience. That happened to me on the second play, I think it was. Yeah. I, I got it... like halfway through and I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> I, I don't even care anymore. This is just not going my way. And I'm just sinking into the loss yeah and the fact that i was probably winning wasn't helping him either because yeah. uh, his competitive side was suffering his ego was uh, not loving it <laughs> yeah so be in a good mood before you embark this game that's all i'm saying and play obviously dislike number two it is the board setup so the main the game board comes in quite a few pieces um and if you are to sort of follow the instructions um essentially this track is meant to be at the top mm. we prefer it at the bottom because it's just less leaning over the board to uh, place things and then you have uh, these tracks on the sides um that we'll come on to later but the the bit that we struggled with the most is this six pieces <laughs> because there yeah. isn't a sort of right or wrong way of putting them down but when you're when you've never played this before and i think this is the biggest struggle we had it on the first game is just understanding what what kind of layout are we going for are we meant to sort of keep them joining together the most or having the water like as much outside or inside to make it like an easier or harder game or what's the purpose why is it coming in so many pieces and i feel the fact that it's it's six individual pieces as well and I get that it's obviously meant to be like a lot more replayable. Yeah. But that's equally, I, it, I think we just kind of got to that point. And I was like, I don't get it. Like, should we try and keep it together? Not together. It's not matching. <laughs> yeah, it's the reason you're looking at it and it's a map. But it's a map that makes no sense. So you're there yeah. trying to make an island or you're there trying to make land that would make sense in real life. And you can't do it. No, not at all. And there's no sort of obviously joining pieces. There's no... You know, I feel like that's maybe something that needs to be almost like stated in the book to say this doesn't have to make sense. The six elements, the six parts of this game board do not connect, are not intended to be connecting. They're just purely together, um, but they it doesn't matter what kind of layout yeah. you put them in. Now we've played it a couple of times. There might be ways that we would rearrange it just to make it more interesting or um, easier for us or maybe a bit more complex. Who knows? But that first time you get them out and you, you just we just kept flicking them like back and forth thinking are we not getting this is yeah something... it's like a puzzle that's just not designed to work a confusing puzzle right on to these tracks on the sides i don't like the fact they're big puzzle pieces mm. i don't understand why it can't be one sheet you just fold like this this is one sheet it folds in half you lay it out done this should be the same it's just more fiddly that's unnecessary yeah. It's not like you can chop and change where to put them either. That is how it's intended. That's how that's intended. Yeah. I don't think that the fact that they're sort of like jigsaw pieces and if your table's not perfectly flush, then they will oh, start sort of yeah. peeking I mean, out Yeah. I mean, multiple games on. have this problem where you've got the seesaw going on. That happens. Yeah. You've got a seesaw. It's not fun. And when you're placing your blocks on top and things like move around your... Um, uh, what's it called your little sort of squares are moving around your buildings are moving around in order all just becomes a little bit floaty um and you're constantly sort of pushing things back into place um so it'd be nice to have i don't know what the answer would be don't come to us for answers we're just here mm. to complain clearly <laughs> it's um, one of them videos <laughs> but yeah we just found that, like it was a little bit constantly like tidying so you know we could fit yeah our squares on the um on the map that we weren't sort of losing um you know the building blocks for everyone it just yeah it wasn't it was a game of maintenance definitely next reason number three why we liked it it is a good length of game mm. and i think that's one thing that we judge most of our games on is something that we bring up in a lot of the 
interviews in the uh, questionnaires. Questionnaires. Uh, it's just the fact that it's you get to play, and you get to do a lot in this game. So you um, get a good ex like a good feel for it. So the game will end once one of the building blocks is one color. Sorry, I should say is completely used up, and that triggers the end game. And then everyone just has like one more round, and then you're done. So you get, depending on what color, you can be quite strategic as to like how far you're built, like you're pushing the end of the game to yeah, an extent. Yeah, you can, yeah. So, you know, if you're really set on doing this like a really quick game, just build with the gray cubes. Um, you know, just focus on trying to build with one color. Yeah. But otherwise, it you get to experience a lot and you get to build a lot of buildings and you get to use like a lot of colors of meeples and, um, you know, experience what they all do and the benefits and everything. So it's nice to be able to, again, experience a game that lasts a little while and um, you, I don't know, you get to play with all the elements. Yeah, it's roughly an hour, isn't it? Like we said earlier, you can play, we played multiple games in one night and it was enjoyable. Like, mm. you finish the game, you're like, cool, tidy up, go again. Like, yeah, yeah. Any game where you can play it multiple times in one night is a good experience because you get a feel for it the first time and then you go, right, let's get into it properly the second time. Yeah, and it yeah, feels... a bit more strategic. Oh yeah, absolutely. He definitely did. Um, and you get you get to sort of like do it again and get better at it. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't feel like a massive undertaking. If you want to play this twice in an evening, just after work, you can. It's not a game totally. that's going to take you three hours to play. And if you don't get it right, then that was, that was your one chance that evening. So from that perspective, good length of uh, play. And actually, yeah, just quite chilled out, I think. Yep. Next. Time to go on a tangent. Reason three to dislike this game. Mm. This in front of me, right here. This track is is one thing that awful. ruined this game for him. <laughs> I hated this thing. This thing was a full time, well, a part time job. All you do, if you're sitting this side of the board when you're playing this game, you just have a chore constantly of replenishing this track every every go i understand you're supposed to use that one over there when you get good enough but all the games we played it was this that one got a lot more it used was here than the until, left side like here we didn't bother doing that because you're wasting resources on the three it was this gap and then everything slides down and you take that one and then everything slides down and it just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going and going until it's the end of the game and he did not enjoy that at all. He was telling me every round, every time I was picking up a square from his side of the table and he had to maintain that one, that level one track, he was just moaning. I was and like, get it from your side. Yeah, just go from go your side. There. I can't afford it. <laughs> I can't do that. Um, so uh, if you don't want to do too much, definitely pick the left side of this or the mm. level two side of the board. Um, but yeah, it just... And I don't know, again, I don't know what's like a better way of doing this, but... The fact that you're constantly having to shuffle your little squares down from wherever someone's picked up one of the um, one of the squares, and then you have to constantly like, replenish, and someone else has taken one, and you're constantly shuffling them down, and it just becomes a little bit of a drag, doesn't it? It's... Yeah, I mean, even if it is, I understand. Like on these little tiles, you've got your meeples that you can potentially get. So mm -hmm. strategically, you're looking at the track, going, "Okay, I can afford that tile, and I do want that meeple." Hence, why you pick that one up. I feel it would just be an easier game if you just had like three different stacks of level one, level two, level three. And it was almost like a blind bag. Not necessarily a bag, but a blind stack. Mm. So you don't have to keep replenishing. You pay a set cost for one, you pay a set cost for two, you pay a set cost for three. You know three are going to have better rewards, better meeples than set number one. And then depending on what you can afford, you just pick off that the top of the pile and you go, that's what I've got, cool. Mm. If you can't play it straight away, leave it on the side. Do what you can do, and then next time see if you can play another one or play the one you've already got. I don't know, something like that. So just so you don't have this chore. These tracks that constantly need maintenance, to be fair. And it just, I mean, it might be a minor thing, I guess. But when you're playing and you're in the heat of the game, the last thing you want to do, you just want to go like, right, it's my turn. Let me, you know, roll my meeples, see what I get. Let me build my buildings. And then you go, oh, I'm just, can you just move those along? Because I need, you know, I want that tile and it's on the wrong price, I guess, or the wrong um, resources to pay. And you just think, like, oh, God, really? Like, shuffle along? Come on. I don't know, maybe we're being too picky here, but... Maybe. 
if you guys have played this and you find it a similar um, situation where you just find that track impossible, not impossible, first world problems, come on. It is first world problems. It is first world problems, but yeah, I mean, it just ruined it a little bit for us, but... This isn't a game I would want to pick if I could play one game after a busy, long day at work. Mm. A, the rolling the meatballs and getting bad luck can stress you out, and B, coming back from work and having more work <laughs> stresses you out. This is a game if you've got a game day and you can get multiple games in, you're just going to enjoy yourself. It's it's made for that kind of day. Definitely, yeah. You need to have the patience for it. So, it's not um, it's not an, like a make or break for the game. You know, this is not going to absolutely ruin it for you. But yeah, when you're playing and you think, gosh, okay. Anyway, we've waffled on too much. Those are the reasons why we like it and we don't like it at the same time. Um, Hopefully you guys have played this. If you feel like there's something else that we've missed or maybe we're just not seeing the full potential of, um, please let us know. Uh, or if you get equally frustrated with the same things as us, let us know because we might, you know, it feels good to not feel like you're the only person that complains. Um, Indeed. So. Last thing. Ooh. Scale of 1 to 10, where would you put this? Mm. 10 being amazing, best game ever. 1 being put it in the bin and burn it. 6. Ooh. Okay, six. I think it's a good game because it's different. And yes. it's got elements that we don't have in many other games. But equally, it does have some frustrations. Like it could be a bit more polished. Um, I don't I don't think, and I, don't, I hope that's not too harsh to say this, but there are a couple of things where it just, I think, would have made this a lot more seamless and a more enjoyable game. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with you at six. What would you get? Oh, really? Totally a six. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, just I, copying I, me now. I thought I was going to be harsh and be the one that was like lowballing this thing. Oh, but right. no, six. Uh, see, I'm normally the goody one. Like, oh, yeah, well, you know, they did a great job. They tried. They've, they've done a great job. Don't get me wrong. The, mm. the thought behind this game, it was really good. And the way that you use meeples is really good. And how all the meeples do something different and how they end up lying down again I've gone bust it's good the effort and thought is there it's just certain things need a bit of a tweak and it could have been a lot better yeah that final sort of um, yeah once over or something like that I don't know maybe like a, a more kind of trial run of it and see where it could be perfected but anyway it's still a good game we're not going to get rid of it soon I think no, no, no. Um, it's staying in our collection until you know whatever might happen in the future but will we play it again Probably. Yeah. Um, will we complain about the tracks again? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, him more than me, because I'll always be on the um, side. No, I'll yeah. I'm wrestle you for it. <laughs> I'll probably win. It's fine. Great. Well, we hope you enjoy that. Um, we hope you found it useful. Um, and like I said, if you guys struggle with the same things or like the same things, tell us. And if not, um, tell us what is special for you or not so special for you. Done. I'm not allowed to say anything more. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> In the meantime, comment, like, subscribe, please follow us and uh, yeah, just engage along, come along for the journey. Thanks for watching. And also, oh. also, oh, thank you for all the new subscribers. If anyone's made it to the end of this video and you've subscribed, you're amazing. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Yeah, we've recently had a little spike, so we're quite pleased with that. Thank you very much, guys. See you soon. See you in the next one.